Hey guys, Devon Brown, The Success Renegade here, and I already know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, Devon, what's up with the title of this blog post and what's up with the email that you sent me to get me here? Um, granted, the, the title of this blog post is a, it might throw you for a loop a little bit because I'm actually telling you to screw your goals. Like, screw them. Screw your goals. And let me explain what I actually mean by that. Because um, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, Devon, isn't the whole purpose of this thing to set goals and reach our goals and yada, 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 and goals are good? Yeah, goals are good, and I do want you to set them and reach them. But I actually want you to try something a little bit different with regard to setting and reaching your goals. And I, for, So for right now, what I want you to do is I want you to screw your goals. Screw them. Kick them to the curb. F your goals. All right? Because too often, we set goals, and we focus on these goals, and if we don't reach these goals, then we say, oh, I failed or I didn't reach my goals. What we need to understand, and this is the crux of what I really want you to understand today and re what I really, really need you to get, what you need to understand is that goals, whatever your goal is, if your goal is a certain amount of money in a particular month or a certain amount of money in a particular time frame, or if your goal is um, maybe a certain number of people on your opt-in list, a certain number of people on your email list, whatever that goal is, that goal is a result of certain actions being taken. What I want you to commit to is I want you to commit to the action, not the goal, right? Too often we get caught up on the goal and caught up on the end result. And while that is important, what I want you to do for the sake of today's video is I want you to focus on being committed to the action and understand that the goal or achieving success in whatever area is a byproduct of taking a particular action. Let me give you an example. If my goal is to get 100 people on my opt-in list, then I would work backwards. So the goal is to get 100 people on my opt-in list. Then I'll work backwards and I'll say, okay, well, how do I get 100 people on my opt-in list? Well, let's assume my opt-in list converts at, um, you know, 10%. In order to get 100 people, I'm going to need 1,000 visitors to my site. 1,000 visitors come to my site, 10% of those opt in, I've got 100 people on my list. I'm just making up numbers here, and I'm using 1,000 and 100 because it's easy-ass math, and I don't feel like really having to do math in my head because... <laughs> I have computers for that. Um, so, uh, goal is 100 people on my opt-in list. I know in order to get 100 people on my opt-in list, I'll need 1,000 visitors to my site. Um, in order to get 1,000 visitors to my site, let's say the method that I want to use in order to get visitors to my site is going on forums in my industry and commenting on forums. Um, let's say I'm in the weight loss industry. I'm going to go to you know three weight loss forums a day and spend 30 minutes in the forum commenting and yada, yada, yada. And then in my little signature file in the forum, We'll have a link to my site, and I know if I do that, I can get 100 visitors a day. Again, I'm just making up numbers. Don't go off and sit there and say, Devon said I would get 100 visitors a day if I posted it on forums. I'm just using this as math, okay? So then, in theory, it was like, if I do X amount of forum posting that should yield, for 10 days, that should yield 100 uh, visitors a day. For 10 days, it's 1,000 visitors. 10% of those opt-in, I've got... 100 people on my email list. That makes sense, Tara? Yeah. Okay. So, that's the goal. But what I want you to be committed to is not 100 people on your email list. What I want you to be committed to is this, and the goal I really want you to set for yourself is the goal of just being consistent with posting, excuse me, on forums every single day. That's what I want you to be committed to, okay? Because having that goal of 100 people on your email list is a great milestone, and um, that's all well and good. But what I want you to really be committed to is doing what you need to do every single day so that you can reach that goal and go beyond it. Do um, Commit to the process and understand that sometimes, even though I'm committed to this process, it's not going to work exactly as planned, okay? Because you may do 10 days worth of blog posting, and you may end up with only 30 people on your list. What I don't want you to say is, oh, I've got 30 people on my list, I didn't reach 100, this sucks, and now I failed, and yada, yada, yada. No, stay committed to the process and see what we can do to make the process better? Can you make it more efficient? Can you make it more effective? What can you do to, did you notice that uh, maybe you're using a tracking link? Did you notice that when you post this kind of comment, you get more visitors than if you post this kind of comment? I'm just making this stuff up off the top of my head, but I hope you get what I'm getting at here. I'm not worried about the hundred people. I'm worried about staying committed to the process because if I stay committed to the process and I make the process a part of my everyday life and I keep doing the process and keep doing the process and keep getting better at doing the process and making the process more efficient and more effective, then the goal is going gonna, is gonna to reach itself, okay?
If I keep doing the process, the money or the end result or the goal or the opt-ins or whatever it is, is going to come. I got to focus on the process. Get the money out of your mind for a second and just focus on the process. I focus not on how much money I'm going to make today. Yes, I have goals. Um, uh, I have goals on how much I'd like to sell and how much I'd like to make this week. And But what I really, really focus on is the process. And I know by just doing the process and being committed to the process, that results will come. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for results. And I've done this long enough and I'm to the point where I understand that I'm not just looking for, I mean, don't get me wrong, ideally I'll get the result that I'm looking for, but what I'm looking for is I'm looking for results. If, ever, if I just get the result I'm looking for, great, but maybe I get a better result and I'm like, whoa, whoa, how did I get that better result? Or maybe I get a worse result and say, okay, well that's feedback, what do I need to do to change it? So, in, so hopefully I'm making sense today. When I say screw your goals, obviously I'm not really saying screw your goals, but instead of focusing on them, what I want you to focus on is the process and focus on being committed to the process and understand that uh, your goals will come as a byproduct of you um, being committed to the process. People often say uh, that money is indirect. The amount of money you make, especially in a capitalist society, the amount of money you make is in direct correlation to the amount of value that you provide in people's lives. The more value you provide in people's lives, the more money you make. So there's a relationship between value and money. So don't focus on the money, focus on the value, the process of adding value to people's lives. The more value you can add, understanding the relationship between value and money, more value I add, more money I make, then it only stands to reason that if I want to make more money, I add more value. So forget about the money right now. I'm just going to be committed to the process of adding more value and asking myself, how can I add more value? How can I be committed to this process? How can I focus on the value side of things, understanding that the relationship between, understanding the relationship with the two, between the two, and if I focus over here and I make this better, this has no choice but to go up. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, cool. Awesome. So hopefully that made sense. I want you to get committed to your, to the process all right, screw your goals. Screw your goals. Um, the hell that was. Um, and, and and get committed to the to the actual process. All right, and keep doing that process and keep getting better at the process. And then the goals will come. All right, the money will come and the opt-ins will come and the sexy ladies will come or the whatever you want will, 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 will come. Um, all right. On that note, I was gonna go off and do another tangent, but you guys get what I'm saying. Um, God, yeah, this this is so applicable. I was just thinking of how to do this to, to talk to women and pick up more chicks, but we'll worry about that later. Um, that had nothing to do with internet marketing. I'll probably say Tara edit that out, and then she won't edit it out. And we'll probably leave it in here. We're um, leaving it. We're leaving it. All right. <laughs> on that note, um, we'll see you guys later. Have a great weekend or whatever day it is that you're watching this, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.